more great Imperial models from Artel W Miniatures are here. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today I'm going to show you some more great miniatures from Artel W Miniatures. <laughs> Double miniatures there. Uh, they sent over the latest, not the latest, but the previous latest. Remember, we're working on a little bit of a cycle here. Now you, the magic is ruined. <laughs> from their latest release. Now, these are all, we've got seven different miniatures we're going to unbox and show you. They're all about 14, 15 bucks. And, you know, I think it's great value, great stand in for a lot of different things, but it's really up to you to kind of see what you could use them for in your arm. Jumping back over to RTLW.com. Remember, they always have sales on different things. Uh, here in the summer, it's been about every week or so. So you never know what might be on sale at this time. So it's worth a look over there just for that. I would imagine right now. There's some of the orc stuff that we also have to review. And here you can see some of the Imperial miniatures too. Vladimir the Liberator, young Jessica. Remember there's a larger uh, version of her. Heroic Commissar 2.0, Lady Inquisitor. Uh, we don't have the officers here, but we got the Wildling Scout. And I think one other one, which I'm not sure right off the top of my head. But either way, they're all about $15, like I said, great looking miniatures. You could probably use them for a number of different things. You can kind of see the parts break down here on this particular one, Young Jessica. And of course, there's lots more miniatures where that came from. All cast in resin, really good quality. We'll unbox them and show you the finished completed miniatures so you can decide what you can use them as in your army. Now, if you've never got a miniature from RTLW before, just keep in mind, it's gonna come in a nice little um, box here. Sometimes they're wrapped with a little fancy paper and a little uh, wax melt emblem, but it's gonna come bubble wrapped with your figure in a baggie and a base. You know, if it's a squad, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, et cetera, et cetera. But that's just basically how they come. And then you saw the parts break down for the young Jessica model. So let's get her built up and show you how cool she is. Okay, so here she is all built up. You can see great looking miniature, really good cast. Got a lot of detail. Um, you know, all the areas that would be flush actually, you know, are gonna look great because there's uh, lots of room to work with right there. And got the little hammer back there with the that inquisitorial seal, I feel like. Face looks great, very good posing on everything right here. Um, that's a big hammer. She walks. She speaks softly and carries a very big hammer, uh, also a sword and some sort of pistol. Now, how does she compare some of the other miniatures out there? Well, there's the Death Corps of Kriegsmen, both on 25mm bases and some of the new sisters. There's a sister right there. And, well, she's about the same size, but doesn't have that cool-looking power armor, so to speak. Next up, we have the Weirdling for you. Kind of a different miniature, a little feral. Would not look out of place in a game like Necromunda or something like that. Got a really cool uh, tactical skull helmet. Say that 10 times fast. And, uh, you know, just great looking pose and combat blade. Little, I think that's a feather cape, perhaps. So maybe a bird skull, rat skull, maybe it's rat fur. I don't know, could be all those things. Sniper rifle, ready to rock. Great looking miniature, could fit into a lot of different RPG games as well as, like I said, Necromunda or potentially Imperial Guard as well. Commissar having a tea party miniature. This is the one that I knew we had that I didn't know what it was, but here he is. Uh, don't know the name of it because I'm the worst. <laughs> However, it looks great. Got the Commissar jacket. Definitely enjoying some of that, uh, what is it, AMSEC or uh, caffeine? What do they call it? Ah, forget. Gosh. Brain fart. When I'm on the spot, I lose my mind. Anyways, <laughs> got the holstered chainsword. I don't think that's a power weapon. Definitely looks like it might be a chainsword right there. And Commissar Stash, rank of off. Actually, this might be a Lord Commissar. Hmm. Very interesting for sure. But great looking, great looking miniature all the way around. And I kind of got that casual kind of feel to it as well. Actually, I take it all back. That was Heroic Commissar 2.0, not Commissar Tea Party Miniature. Don't quote me on that one. I'm terribly mistaken. Now, this is Lord Admiral Theodore, and uh, I'm sure he's supposed to be somebody. I'll let you just kind of figure that one out right there. But again, great looking pose. Got the sidearm at the ready. Little uh, cane, I guess, I guess when you're 
that far up you get to walk around with the cane and it has what looks to be a saber holstered right there you got a great admiral's jacket and all of the regalia that would come with it for being a space naval officer right there face styling and hair posing looks great as well brings us to our next officer this is lord commander nicholas zorg <laughs> uh, i feel like he's uh, fashioned after a uh, evil bad guy from a uh, bruce willis movie or something like that but i digress looks great he's got the chain sword got all the regalia of a normal lord commander right there i don't know what any of that stuff is but it looks cool convincing me no stolen valor there and half his head is got the bionics and a very interesting haircut as well uh, that you might be able to place by now. Next is Vladimir the Liberator, uh, kind of a psyker slash navigator, some sort of thingamabobber right here. On a 25 mil base, now obviously all those guys, all 25 millimeter figures that are going to look at home in any pretty much Imperial Army for the most part. Uh, whether it be Space Marines or just Imperial Guard. Although I don't know how many people are going to put stuff in with Space Marines nowadays with Doctrines. But who knows. So there he is. Looking fresh. Got some armor. Some crazy telepathica things going on right here. He's got his brain hooked up to this little Ghostbuster backpack back here. And a really cool looking flowing robe that you could uh, probably do some nice cool blends on, so to speak. So, great looking guy. I think the top uh, the cut off on accident. I thought it was. Actually, is it? No, those are those are actually not part of the miniature. I am the worst. So, those are supposed to be cut off. Those are actually sprue bits. Um, it's just supposed to be the, the straight lines right there. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. But great looking miniature. Very, very cool. Very advancing their art in kind of in a different direction, I feel like. And uh, I dig it. And last but certainly not least is Commissar Tea Party figure two. No, I'm just kidding. This is Lady Inquisitor Bale, uh, but perhaps being part of a tea party or AMSEC or caffeine. Still don't know what it's called. I think it's called caffeine. Oh no, it's recap. That's what it is. I got it. Nailed it. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> so it's recap. Yeah. I can remember things. So great looking miniature. Artel really does uh, the lady miniatures just as well as they do the male miniatures right there. Always very respectful, very cool looking. Some gapping issues right there. Probably heated up, will just uh, work just fine, but didn't have the time to do all that. So forgive me. Remember Vallejo Plastic Party, if you have an issue, you can fill a lot of those gaps, but really if you have the time, it's easily fixable. I just didn't, but you know, just wanted to throw that out there. Great looking boots. Great looking sword. I don't know what's going on with this backpack or this cape back here with all this cyber circuitry stuff. Um, but Lady Inquisitor, I don't know. Maybe she's like the technology Inquisitor. I didn't think there was one of those. Maybe there is. I'm gonna have to brush up on my lore, so to speak. I know there's a, a Poisons Inquisitor or a Poisons uh, Temple, but I don't know. We'll have to look at. We'll have to look at that one. Who knows what kind of Xenos tech she's using there? Maybe she's a Heretic Inquisitor. But and it got that little uh, hood right there to go over. Uh, her cropped back hair as well so very very cool look and another kind of miniature that they're putting and just kind of uh, going in a different direction arts wise and i dig it so seven miniatures later we have reached the end of our unboxing review for artel w miniatures make sure you check them out at artelw.com uh great looking miniatures been doing this for two plus years now and can't say enough good things about them uh, every miniature they send over here for us to review and promote for them, I feel like uh, is, is great. And in some way, there's something cool to be said about every miniature they've, they've sent over here. And that's why, that's why we keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching our unbox and review. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our future videos.